What up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. I don't know what I was just doing with my hands, but it sounded fun. Now I know that this has been a few months coming, but I have had this box ready to go. I am unboxing a Fukubukuro. Fukubukuro is a Japanese lucky bag, or in this case it's a lucky box. Uh, it is something that you usually purchase on New Year's Day in Japan, and it comes with a variety of items items from a store. So for example, the Sailor Moon store did a Fukubukuro back in 2018. You could go to the Sailor Moon store, put down like a hundred dollars in USD, which would be, what is that, a thousand, ten thousand yen, I believe? One, two, three? Yeah, ten thousand yen. And then you would receive a whole bunch of goodies inside of a Sailor Moon bag, and all of those items should be worth at least a hundred dollars USD. If it's not then it wasn't that necessarily lucky, but most bags are lucky bags. So you end up with a variety of items that should end up being more than the value that you actually purchased it at. This is something that is huge in Japan, especially in Tokyo. You see these kinds of Fukubukuro bags sell out all the time. The Pokemon Center usually has a really good one, although 2019's Fukubukuro at the Pokemon Center wasn't that great, a lot of people said, and you can definitely find a lot of them being sold on like eBay and stuff. Uh, but the Sailor Moon store didn't have one this year. So I was very excited when I saw that Anime Osaka, which is one of the proxies that I follow over on Facebook was doing a Fukubukuro. So I decided to do the lucky bag, or in this case, a lucky box for $100 USD, and they were going to send me items from Sailor Moon. So I'm gonna unbox that today and see if it was worth it or if it's something that you could definitely skip. I've already opened the box, but I don't know what's inside of the box, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that and see what I received. Okay, so the first thing in here is a little letter from Anime Osaka. It says, Dear Shannon, thank you always for your kindness and support. Happy 2019, it's always a pleasure to assist. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we received two different items in here. One of them already looks like a petite chara box. Um, I don't know which one this is without taking my sweet ass time trying to read katakana. So I'll go ahead and open this and find out which one we got. And then this, I have no clue what this is. It kind of looks like gachapons, maybe? And if it's gachapons, that's gonna be kind of disappointing for $100. So let's go ahead and open these. Actually, I'll do the petite shot out first, which I'm I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Oh, it is not a petite shot. Out. It is actually the Eternal Edition Sailor Moon article. Um, so this is the Eternal Sailor Moon Edition uh, jewelry box, which comes from the Sailor Moon store. Um, I'm gonna find out how much this costs and then I will tell you the retail value of this item. I'm not gonna open this packaging, this tissue wrapping, because I actually did purchase this from my other proxy. So I'm going to be reselling this one. Um, I know that I don't need an extra, so it's not something that I necessarily feel the need to open. I'm not super excited about this item, so I think I'm just gonna like put this aside and I'll let you know the value of it in a second. And what do we have? Yeah, these are definitely gachapons. Okay. Okay, so I have all of the gachapons taken out of their boxes. So this is the first one that you can receive, which is the Stallion Reeve, I believe it's called. Um, it does open up. There's some cute little glitter on the inside. That's cute. So we also received all of the outer talismans. This is the first one that was received. Uh, this is a gachapon of Michiru's mirror. So there's that talisman. It might, yeah, I think it's supposed to be set on its side like that, but that's cute. And I also got, I'm gonna need to figure out the best way to set this, but I also got Uranus's sword. Uh, this is her talisman, so that's cute. Definitely a gachapon, definitely not like a high quality item, but it's, it's a gachapon. So it's one of those things that you get out of one of those little vending machines. Um, and the last one is Sailor Saturn's Scythe. That's probably my favorite one. It has a little purple gemstone in the front and it's nice and big, just like Sailor Saturn's Scythe in the anime and the manga. Uh, but that's it. That is everything that came in my box. 
So let's find out the retail value of the Eternal Moon article ju jewelry box. I'm going to try to find the original posts about it. Okay, here is Sailor Moon Official, the website. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Okay, so the Eternal Moon article jewelry case is 3,500 yen, which is, you can make that the equivalent of $35 USD. So I just spent $100 for the Eternal Moon article jewelry case, which originally the retail value, the retail price of this is 3,500 yen, which is about $35 and a bunch of gachapons, which usually range between, I would say 200 yen, which is about $2 USD, up to like 600 yen, which is like six USD. Now I'm gonna look up these gachapons and see how much they currently cost as well. Okay, it looks like you can get all four of them, including Sailor Pluto's, which was not included in this box, for about $40 on eBay, so that's what I'm gonna say they cost. I know they cost a lot less in Japan, but on eBay that's around what they're going for. So I basically got the value of $75 worth of items, probably less, given gachapons don't necessarily cost that much, and I paid $100. So this was definitely not worth it at all. Uh, this was a waste of money. I would not recommend getting a Fukubukuro Lucky Box uh, from Anime Osaka ever again. <laughs> um, it's a little ridiculous. I'm like, I'm so bummed that my Fukubukuro was just very unlucky. And I hope that maybe other people got lucky ones. So maybe y'all got lucky out there. Let me know if you did. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna sell this because I don't need an extra one. I'll probably sell the gashapons too because I don't really collect gashapons at all. So that was still a fun unboxing because it's always enjoyable to see what kind of surprises come in the mail. Let me know what you think and if a lucky bag is something that you would go for. I know like if I was living in Japan and the Sailor Moon store did a lucky bag again, I would totally buy it. And I would go to the Pokemon Center and get those ones because they're usually really good value for the money that you pay for them. Comment below and let me know what you think and if there's anything else that you want to see me review on the channel, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. I'm Sailor Snubs. Johnny.